Welcome back to Crow Trigger. Yes, I just left the hunting range. In the hunting range, you can find pl plenty of, plenty of uh, petals, fangs, horns, and feathers. And occasionally, you'll find news hiding while it's raining. And you can get high tech points off of that. And <laughs> and three of each of those mineral of the materials. Wait, he took our gate key? Jealousy. Bark. Why she punishes? Well, no, she likes you the best. No more do bad stuff, okay? That wrong. <laughs> Lesson of the day. Stealing is wrong. But stealing is wrong. Shut up, Avatar. Oh, oh great. So the reptile took the key from you. Yep. Probably has a deal of sorts, you know? Hmm. Well, speaking of stealing, uh, Ayla is actually a, the thief of the game. And with her and Marl together? They can, they can, um, they can improve their effectiveness. Because, uh, it's, yeah. So, yeah, she's a thief that doesn't suck! But Locke doesn't suck. He's except awesome. Except in certain people's eyes, where, you know, in, in certain people's eyes, they don't like the fact that his steal rate is low. Uh, the guy's a, is a tank. People would disagree with you. He's <laughs> also the, probably the fastest party member next to Shadow. That, you think that now, but then you get, uh... Time's Fury, right? Nope. I'm talking about Final Fantasy VI Nova, where he gets no magic whatsoever. Oh. He gets steal and capture, that's it. Well, you could still make something out of the accessories, then. Nope. I just say, some, 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 somebody, some people would rather ditch him the first chance they get and never use him again. Huh. In I favor, wonder if the stat growth if, changed. If, if you, in favor of, say, Edgar or Saban. <sighs> I'm actually referring to the normal game, not some random hack and sandy of annoying, stupid bullshit. Anyway, we have lightning too. Yay! They're all shocked. Now we can kill them all. No, they're not shocked. That replies to the reptiles. Oh, whatever. Oh. But yeah, as I mentioned before, Ayla, she she doesn't even need magic. She just uses her brute fists. And those fists, they actually level up through the game. They get more upgrades in the DS version, where it, as she levels up, they actually upgrade to give her some more bonuses. Up to the point where at level 99, she pretty much auto crits. Auto crits and goes for 999. Nine. Quad nine. Quad nine? Yeah. I. I thought she could only go to like, tri you know, triple nine. Nope, quad nine. Anybody, if we can breach the nine 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 barrier, we can bre we can get the quad nine. Eh, true, but I mean, I was able to get eight thousand damage uh, at one point, I believe. Yeah, that or six thousand. I can believe that with like attack or so, but try a triple tech. Oh well, yeah, I can believe that. The triple techs are broken. Anyway, woo. For the most part. You're cleared for landing. Woo! Falcon Strike. Oh, yes. The Falcon Strike. That is probably one of my favorite practical double techs in the game. And even better yet, so many enemies set themselves up for it. And now, Thunder Chomp! This. It'd be a new. Ouch! The other tech, the other tech they share is drill kick, hmm. or roundillo kick. Oh, that no, actually, that's their single tech. Yeah, drill kick, cyclone, I... sound cl cyclone, and um, roundillo kick. I think he's quite dead. Idea. 
Yeah, it turns out I missed a couple of chests, actually, in this area, so I double back for them. Fortunately, I don't spawn any more I encounters. And it's always handy to use a DS version to recall where all those chests are. Anyway, Ice Toss! This be handy. For 500 damage? Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, Mar will learn um, Ice 2, I believe. Ooh, 305 to life. 174 for charm. 47 for ice, too! Huh. By the time that we get there, we should be able to learn it. Yeah. See, training at the hunting range, hunting down all those news really helps. Especially near the end of the game, we can get ruby armors. 80% fire reduction. Making and fire attacks a juke. Not just that, but also... Also, very, very useful against a certain boss. Oh, yeah. I, there's also another thing. Ruby armors also have great defense. Hmm. Speaking of which, I believe it's a full moon outside. Cool. <laughs> 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 What are you talking about? You're not playing Unleashed. What are you talking about? Uh, this is my friend here who likes to be melodramatic. <laughs> well, I know one thing. If if I ever do run to Kojima, I know I'll get a job with him. <laughs> really? Well, think about it. Most of his... Games are philosophical, melodramatic bullshit. <laughs> I guess. I, I guess with some realism in, well, his sense of humor. <laughs> mm. hey. Anywho. Well, not much to do unless they uh, line up again. Here we go. Fuck strike. Woo. That's like how she does that chant of hers. It's almost as if she's like being an air traffic controller or something. <coughs> I, Ayla, that's not until later when we actually get our time machine. Then she could be an air traffic controller. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, I noticed I missed the chest, so I double back. Uh, I, uh, uh, the problem is, I don't think Isla would know what air traffic controller is. Uh, then again, if she's in the lead, she could pilot the Epoch. That's our time machine, by the way, folks. Because you gotta have, you can't have a time, time traveling game without a time machine. Uh, you just can't. Um, of, of some sort. Um. Okay, okay, 13-2 being the exception. Yeah. It it mostly had a time gate that you could fly through and go into multiple timelines through, I guess. It, I don't get it! I think we'll get it when we get to the... Oh, when wait. we get to the Let's Play of it. If you ever decide to do it, or thir the original 13. I'm going to probably do 13 too first. Because I like that game. Even with its troll ending. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but I can troll harder. <laughs> anyway, if you better be playing a new game. Yeah, I'll be playing a new game, of course, because that'd be very boring. Yeah. It'd just me be running through, one shine everything, and using the Odin bolt. <laughs> Anyway, shocking, isn't it? Huh. It was oh. quite illuminating, if you ask me, but oh, wait, I'm no expert. Oh, wait, that's not for another, say, 2,000 uh, tech points? I'm just an electrician. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it, yeah, Luminaire ends up being learned when, after you learn uh, Frenzy, and then you need another 1,000 tech points. 
I, I forget what the requirement for learning Luminaire is, but I think it's like when you defeat one of the bosses and you get a certain star level, I believe, in Chrono Cross. Because, uh, okay, I'll explain. In Chrono Cross, your characters do not level normally. Battles really just increase certain stats based on, like, basically just the luck of a dice roll, but it's mostly, like, HP. MP's pointless because it doesn't exist, because in the game you just plainly use elements. That's now, now, when you fight a boss, they have they give you star levels, which will increase your stats tremendously in multiple fields, and will eventually, I guess, help you decide on what you want. You know, who you want to really be in the party. So, uh. some, some characters are just really good to have, and even if they don't get the extra star uh. levels that they need. Defense power decreases when shocked. Shock! And amazed. Shock! And it's done. Man, these dinosaurs, they might as well be going backwards. Yeah, we still need like 25 tech points or so for Marvel and Ice 2. And we need that for Glacier Toss. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna burn up 8 MP. And there's four of them, so why not? And they die. All right, and there's also oh. a ruby vest, I believe, in here. That that makes things easy. Yep. Uh, like two. To prove a point. Yep. Two eleven. Defense power decreases when shocked. Shocked. Oh God. Oh. You, you you no shock. You, you, you sound like one of the bosses from X8. Really? Yeah. It, I, I'm trying to... I can't put my finger on it, but that did sound like one of them. Okay. No, it wasn't Gigabolt Man of War. Uh, of course not. Man of War was way too whiny. All this whiny is X7X. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anymore. I, I'm going to do things peacefully because the other way didn't work at all. Not like this one, one does, but I like my uh, desk. <laughs> Whatever. My snow globes? <laughs> These snow globes don't come cheap. Okay. The ice toss. I have to sacrifice Isla's shoes for. It. Not Isla's shoes, but Alias shoes. Damn it! <laughs> They're both blocks. <laughs> Wait, they 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 they, they kind of look. Nah, it, nine skill po tech points. Uh, nine tech points. We gotta go back in that room, take on another red tight mega sword combo. That way, can earn enough for ice too, so I can demonstrate glacier toss. This is the only bit of grinding you'll ever see. <laughs> and my brain just crashed. <laughs> I got shocked. Yeah. <sighs> well, it had to be. <laughs> and we're just playing with these bastards. More or less. Now we can earn more than enough. Come on, guys! I this ain't working. Ooh, it's not... perfect! It's not gonna work, guys. Stop jumping in front of my swords. <laughs> God, you're as bad as the villains in the, in the later Chuck Walker Texas Ranger seasons. What? What is what? They were just walk right into his roundhouse kick. Basically, yeah, because anyway, you know, he, he was getting old. Yeah, I know. Avoid. Ooh, unavoidable battle. 
Anyway, oh. I'm not feeling it. Anyway, I think I'm gonna sh I wanna sh I'm Let's demonstrate Glacier Toss. Alright. Woo! Where'd you get that? All that ice. Oof. That, that was quite a bit. And that guy actually survived. No, no, the Mega Sword did, yes. Yeah, that's what I was referring to. Defense Rider Creaseman shocked. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, you, what? You're never going to get that out of your head, are you? Damn you, Bohapens! <laughs> and too bad, she doesn't have charm. Besides, all we get out of this boss is a third eye, which doubles evasion. Well, yeah. physical! Yeah. Physical evasion, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Footsteps, follow! Anyway. I I'm starting to wonder, that based on the chapter, the character that you have is pretty much writing it down. Uh, Azala. Uh, no. Either way, you wouldn't even believe us. Motivation. Where's your motivation? Oh, that's... This belt looks like a friggin' Rhydon. Almost. Uh, he looks like a... Except with, rather... three, except with three horns. I think he's a rather pissed off standing Triceratops that's now a biped. As opposed to a quadruped. Anyway, rock throw! Or just beast toss, whatever it is. <laughs> Boulder toss or something, even though it's... Seriously. Anyway, now she has haste! Of course. Do not underestimate the haste spell. It, for me, it's probably the one of the few things that is redeemed about Morrow. So. I, I can't disagree with this... this Assessment. Oh, you'll be thinking otherwise when I actually do fight Magus. Oh, oh, oh. I will, I will, and... No, I I just prefer not to use a Marvel. It's hard. Oh, oh really? <laughs> uh, five arc impulses say otherwise. Yeah, and about the same amount goes to the lightning rod attack, too. No. <laughs> Triple text to have more power. Bah. I was, I was doing about a thousand apiece, so... Uh, I did a thousand apiece. And I kept constantly getting turns before he got Dark Matter off. Uh, I was able to do that too. <laughs> eh. Only had to use the spot. I only had to use Lightning Rod once. Or twice, actually. Or, or Give it to me! Whee! <laughs> the hell? 1,000 E2! <laughs> but damn. I think he's going to be having a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. Hey, what I... killed the dinosaurs? The ice day. Da -da -da. Or, okay. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh. Thanks to haste, we get more cube tosses in. That's a good retard. <laughs> it's taking time for it to discharge electricity. Eh, but it won't get another chance. Because, uh, once the electricity wears out, he comes up with a nasty counter that hits everyone with a n massive electrical discharge. It hurts. Like we saw. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Zala's taken aback. Uh, the apes? They eat Nisba? Uh, yeah. But Majin Boo will be a full power! Oh, brother. <laughs> he kind of does remind me of that. And sadly, he does the same thing. And, oh, great. More burning. More sickness. I think she had too much of the flow. <laughs> you learn a lot. Well, actually, maybe I should have swapped slots with uh, Mara and Luca you know, between them. That way I could have gotten Mara to say something for that. 
because, uh, um, I might as well say it. She's actually Marl's ancestor. It yeah. just so happens to be that all of Marl's uh, descendants are blonde. Well, all of her, um, yeah, pretty much her entire family, more or less. Uh, I'm obviously I'm referring to um, Ayla and Kino. Not to mention uh, the fact that even, yeah, in fact, people uh, people that we don't even see in 12,000 BC. That's later on. Trust me. Oh God. Oh God. So yeah, if she if Marl dies, we lose a whole bunch of our allies, more or less. <sighs> Hell, if Isla dies, we have to lose the whole timeline completely. Well, I suppose we would, yes. But she's too tough to die th like this. <laughs> uh... Yeah, uh, Mara doesn't know about her connection to Ayla until pretty much the end of the game, actually. Yeah, considering that she's at the beginning stages of pregnancy, I guess I guess it's like Hope's mother once said. What? Moms are tough, you know. Yes, they are. And I apologize for that. Uh, In yes. both ways. How on earth did you get the mouse of an and the dream stone? No, don't tell me. I don't think my heart could take it. You know about this, you. Uh, th we, fuck. They don't. They don't. Besides, why? Why are we pissed off at Melchior? There, there's another. There's another one of him that we 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 were pissed off at, but that's not until later. Oh yeah. Anyway, it's more it's actually very logical for Luca to be assisting Melchior in reforging the sword. She is fire after all. Yeah, and the fact that she has some technical know how and she likes working with all kinds of gadgets and tools. So that and, that and not to mention fire is used in forging a sword. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, <laughs> all right. And, that, and then, through the power of alchemy and science. Uh, Taoist magic. Pagua uh. sampa, pagua sampa. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Do, do, do. Whoa! Now the Masamune is restored to mid condition. Just about uh, pretty much as sharp as it f as it was when it was forced f f first forged. Bleh! You actually may either save or destroy life. Wield your sword with full knowledge of the consequences. Would you like to buy something? <laughs> Mm, maybe some more mid tonics. I'm gonna need some where I'm going. I, I just like how he posed that, you know, that question. He's like, "Oh, would you like to buy something?" No, oh, he's, he's offering mid tonics. Why not? <laughs> Wait, that just seems so. <laughs> anyway, it's time to go get frog. Uh, I'm hanging you a weapon of mass destruction, and I wonder if you'll use it for good or evil. But would you please buy something? I, I, I kind of need the money in case well, <laughs> a nuclear war breaks out. <laughs> I, I gotta build my shelter. Oh, look at that! <laughs> we're, the, we're the site of Ragirock! Huh. <laughs> Ragirock. Yeah! Well, what, would you prefer Reggie Ice? Uh, yeah. Eh. 
I oddly enough, despite the fact people diss Icy Wind, I like it. It saved me a lot of uh, uh Poke Tower uh fights. Really? Yes. In uh Ruby. Okay. Oh, Battle Tower. Yeah. I don't really use those, I don't use those facilities that much. I was just kind of doing it for fun, really. Well, but... oh yeah. Well, wait till you try the Battle Frontier in Emerald. No. <laughs> or Generation Four. No. <laughs> Trust me, you'll be put to the test in those facilities. Anyway, Frog, we have something for you. Your sword. Uh, I, I, that. Yeah, I, I'm not going to go there. No, seriously. We got this for him. Well, yeah. And now we have a flashback sequence revealing that he was once in service to Guardia Castle. As, As just a plain faithful knight. Well, alongside this guy, Sir Cyrus. Hmm. As long as there's life in these bones, I shall return. As long as there is, that is. Yeah. And there's the knights, Sir Cyrus. We, the knights at the square table, wish you a safe journey. So he trusts the kingdom to their care. Even though they're completely powerless to the mystics. Well, there's a... Yeah, who's this guy? His name... is Glenn! Huh. Be a sound help, your majesty. Yeah, so Cyrus and Glenn venture forth in search of the hero medal. And so we have now, now we have a fake battle sequence. <laughs> Great. Prepare yourself, Pollywog! On guard! Nevada Strike! <laughs> That, that's the only time where we see that big frog sprite. Ever again. Even though for some reason it... It reminds... It looks like the Frog Prince summon. Oh, that, and it kind of reminds oh. me of the frog in... Oh, what's that game? Anyway... Yeah, Magus was able to cleave the Masamune in two. Leave me Cyrus with just the hilt. You mean he didn't carry a backup sword? Apparently not. He lost his other sword along the way. Well, it would explain why, uh... Well, Frog had the hilt. Because the thing is, we're viewing Frog's memories while he was still a human. August was an asshole. <laughs> I go <gonna> try your luck. <laughs> uh, what's cat got your tongue kit? A fit more fitting form. <laughs> what? There's always time for a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> As such, he gets turned into a frog. He was yeah. he was in his thirties back then, and ten years have passed since, since that event. <sighs> Your 
you're not you're no longer uh, the young old coward that you once were. You become much wiser and much stronger. Awake of the Chrono. Though we may fail, let us go to his lair. Well, they know his power, but nothing can beat science. <laughs> and we won't be beaten by a bad guy. All right, Princess, I'm taking you along. Kirk Hankley, combine. It, oh yeah, he cannot equip the Masamune just yet. However, he can equip everything else that you may need at this time. Yep. yep. Yeah, you're going to actually want the hero medal on. Mm-hmm. Because you like it. A lot. And I'm gonna show, I'll, I'll even show a little bonus scene once we actually get inside the magic cave. All right. Inside, not outside. Magic cave. And now... This sequence is so epic in the PS1 and DS version, it's hard to believe. Yeah. Orchestral arrange for Frog's theme, anyone? More flashbacks. He was always a little kid that got picked on. He only had one friend. Big bro Cyrus. Pretty much. He was he was, he was like a big brother to him. It hurts when I get hit. So he calls him a marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> oh. Well, as long as he's not a cloud wearing pants, he'll be fine. Yeah. Well. Hey. I'm not a frog? Yeah, that makes me becoming a knight. Yeah, you God, make, that's it. You make a great porgy. a bit of irony. Make a great, wait, he wants Glenn to join too. Wait. But I don't think I make the cut. Really? Uh the thing is, the truth is, of the two of them, Glenn's a better swordsman. <laughs> it's just that he wants—he he tends to hold back. Because he doesn't want to hurt people. But now, the kick clubs come off. All he has left of Cyrus is just two things. The Masamune's hilt and the hero medal. Mm. And from that day onward, he vowed to fulfill what his friend had asked him to do. To protect the queen. Huh. You know, it, it's kind of an interesting irony that you know, Gwen was called a marshmallow, and then he became a frog. Yet, Mello thought he was a frog, but in reality, he was a cloud that was quite marshmallowy. <laughs> That's Glenn. Huh. That's Glenn, not Gwen. And now, the last one, a fourth of the. I just slight make us restore honor! Anyway. Ha <laughs> Thundercat! Ho! Wow! Cleaving a rock, cleaving a rock face in two. That is frog's epicness. You can't do it. You're gonna make the whole thing desynced. Your face is desynced. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll sync you up. Whatever. Anyway, vamps. I don't even know what that means. Then don't bother. Anyway, this is the only real mandatory encounter here. Let's, let's <laughs> freeze him. Oof. Uh, stay frosty, everyone. 
And then Frog comments on this. Be that magic you use. Only magicians can wield it now. No, chow the end of time, and you too may learn to use magic. This is a hint to go back to the end of time and learn some water. That actually is what I... I left that scene there on purpose so that I, ha I can have that reminder. You also wanted a stopping point, too, didn't you? No. I, I also wanted to show people in case they were dumb enough to keep on going without teaching him magic in the first place. I but wasn't yeah, dumb, I just didn't use them. I, I was talking about the audience, not you. Oh, I feel insulted. Either way. Anyway, now he has the Masamune auto-equipped. And later in the game, the Masamune can be upgraded to its true potential, making it his ultimate weapon. Huh. The, the Masamune, too. As such, the Hero Medal improves the Masamune's critical hit rate. <sighs> Thus, if, Thus. You, if, you, if you have an enemy that has a high evasion, Critical hits tend to hit always. And that will be often. What a strange new guest. Are you from the Middle Ages? If I was Frog, I would start thinking I was tripping oh. here. I'll spec you change his form. Being a frog, let's give him water. Magico! Frog, and... frog learned how to make things wet. Uh, uh no. <laughs> Nobody else can learn magic. Just those four. Just yep. Anyway, we're gonna go lead in square for we gotta give we gotta get something from Taban. A new piece of equipment. A new gun. The Taban helm, which improves Luca's magic defense. Sweet. Uh. All right, and of course we got to introduce uh, Frog to uh, Colonel's mother. <laughs> and, oh. and no, you can actually return to the to the Hecarim Cave through that vortex. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Ultimate defense of my unnecessary comma daughter. <laughs> that typo always stays there. Magic defense plus ten. Nice. I still can't believe I got the, the doppel doll in one in the first try. Dear me, his his pets. No, <laughs> I'm not pet. I am auto figure. I'm a master swordsman. It talks. It's. I mean, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Toad. Uh, no, my name is. Guess here. Toad will do for now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, it's not that different. <laughs> he just kind of gave up. <laughs> anyway, switching party members. I'm sticking with this three. Because, why bother going for all kinds of different spells to wipe out the opponents in Megas' castle when uh, Frog and Marl's first double tech can do that just fine? Mm. Anyway, Isn't it like ice water or something? It is ice water. Huh. It's very potent, actually. See you guys in the next part for when we storm Megas' castle. Bye! <laughs>